All right, so in one of my last videos, we tested out a few different cheap knife sharpeners from Amazon. And even though these things were very cheap, all of them less than $15, these really cheap ones actually got our knives very sharp and they actually worked surprisingly well. So after I did that video, a lot of you guys wanted to know how these little cheap knife sharpeners would stack up against a really high dollar quality knife sharpener. So we're gonna compare the two. We don't need these. So I bought this knife sharpener from Amazon. This is a work sharp. It is only $4 and it's just a basic knife sharpener like you've seen before. It has a carbide side and it has a ceramic side. Very, very basic. And then we're gonna be comparing that one to this bad boy, which we will dig into this a little bit later, but this is the Wicked Edge Pro 3. <laughs> this knife sharpener cost $1,000. So we're gonna see if a $4 knife sharpener will compare to a $1,000 knife sharpener, and hopefully we get our money's worth. All right, so the knives that we're gonna be using for this test are the exact same knives that we used in the last test. I, <laughs> I went ahead and I uh, carved onto each knife which knife belongs to which sharpener, so that way anytime you see them you will not be confused about which one belongs to which sharpener. And I also went ahead and put these on the sharpness tester, and this one scored a 230, and then, which is normal, and then this one for some reason scored a 400, which is pretty high for like a, a factory sharpened knife. Typically, like, I've used, now I've used like a six, I think I've bought of the, this exact knife, and none of, them, none of them have ever come that dull. So I'm assuming that this one was sharpened by somebody on like a Friday evening and they were trying to get out of work fast or something. Now it is time to do the cringe-worthy task of dulling our knives. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has just released their brand new body wash. Now, this body wash is not just any ordinary body wash. This stuff actually smells good. And coming from me, if you've seen my videos where I open all the things in jars, I've smelled just about everything there is to smell, and I'm telling you, this stuff smells really good. And it actually is has the exact same scent as the refined cologne, which is a very nice scent. So on top of it smelling good, it also has a really good lather, and it also is infused with aloe vera and sea salt. So whenever you use it, you kind of get this like perfect balance between like hardcore cleaning and good hydration. So it's a really nice balance. And then of course, on top of that, it is, it's vegan, paraffin free, cruelty free, all that good stuff. Whenever you're on the website, once you get done checking that out, you can check out the Lawnmower 4.0, which if you don't know, is comes with a wireless charging base that is USB-C, so that's very nice. The trimmer itself has a 90 minute battery life. It is waterproof. It has the skin safe technology. It also has a nice little LED so you can see what you're trimming. But the skin safe technology, you're not gonna cut or nick yourself. The 4.0 also has a travel mode. So you can just push this button three times and then put it in travel mode. So then you can throw this inside of a suitcase, inside of a bag, whatever. You don't have to worry about this turning on by itself. So overall, a very nice package. It also comes with two separate guards so that you can trim at different lengths. Two very nice additions. So if you wanna check any of this stuff out, or if you wanna check out my personal favorite item, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, if you wanna check any of this stuff out, you can click the link in the top of my description, use code TUBE at checkout, and you'll get 20% off your order. We're gonna bring out our trusty cinder block. I think this should do the job. I swear there's a symphony of crickets out there. All right, so I'm just gonna try to <laughs> just hold one in each hand and just make all the damage as even as possible to each one. If you're a knife enthusiast, I'd recommend just closing your eyes. Ugh. Both of these, <laughs> these things are very dull. I think that's, uh, that's about all it takes. Let's see the damage that we've done with that cinder block. This is the this one started off at 230 grams. Eee, yikes. All right, so we are at 1880 grams, quite the downgrade. So now let's see how damaged the second blade is. Ooh. <laughs> All right. 
2,030 grams. Just for, ref just for reference, for those of you who don't know, 2,000 is a butter knife. So this is more dull than a butter knife. Nice. So the first sharpener that we're going to be using is the work sharp. I don't have like a definitive amount of times I'm going to pull this thing through or anything. I'm literally just going to run it through as many times as I need to get it as sharp as humanly possible. So if that's 100 times, 500 times, however long it takes to get this knife as sharp as humanly possible, that's how, many that's how much we're going to draw it through. So let's get started. All right, so that was 100. Feels very, very sharp. Let's go another 100 just to be 100% sure. Ooh, that feels scary sharp. Mm, not quite shaving sharp. Although it felt kind of shaving sharp. It's not bad. Ooh. Seems like there's a little, some burrs. I think this, uh, for the price, I think the thousand dollar knife sharpener is probably gonna have a hard time uh, competing with this. So now we have the big one. What do you get for $1,000? <laughs> you get a big heavy case, that's what you get. First of all, you do get a case with it. This all, this all comes as one package. This is a very, very nice case. It even has a pressure relief valve, just in case you're like at elevation or something. It's very, obviously very protective. It's waterproof or watertight. So that's very nice. The lid has a spring on it. That's probably $300 right there. And this, this is the, come on. This is the base of the knife sharpener. This is where all the magic happens. Has these two rods that screw in here. And then that's pretty much it. <laughs> Honestly, you get the case, there's the knife sharpener, and then you get a set of stones. You get six different grits of stones. You get a 100 and a 200, and then you get a 400 and a 600, and these are just, just <laughs> double-sided. And then you get a 800 and a 1,000. So you get a full set of stones. You get a little uh, device that I'll show you how that works here in a minute. That's pretty much it. So the way this one works is actually semi-complicated. So the work sharp only has one angle that you can sharpen at. You just pull your knife through, that's the angle you're sharpening at. With this, it has, uh, it goes from 14 to 27 degrees. So you have all that range and then anything in between that you can sharpen at. It just has this lever here that you can just select and you can see that moves these sticks, which is where you would put your stones. You put your stones here and you can just change this. And it'll select how, how, you know, how wide or how narrow you're sharpening your knife. So it has this little thing that you put in here, put this in here, and this acts as kind of like a backstop. I have this backwards. So you put your knife in here and you rest the spine of the blade on here. And this lever right here locks this vise. So now the knife is locked in place. And then now if I say wanted to sharpen at say 18 degrees, I would have both of my stones here and I could just Go like this, and then sharpen my knife, do whatever I need to do, and then when I'm done with the 100, I can just flip it over to the 200, sharpen it, you can, you can just do you know, each side, and then I can pull these off, you know, go to the next grid, do the same thing, and just go you know, over and over and sharpen the knife. Pretty basic, yet complicated at the same time. And you can also, these, uh, these bars where the stones go, if you wanna be really, really particular, you can put a, a sharpening stone on here and then you can put an angle cube and it like magnet magnetic it you can attach it to the side of the stone and then these screws right here you can adjust up to i think 0 0.05 degrees so this thing has like a million different um adjustments that you can make and you can get everything 
absolutely as perfect as possible. So far, the one drawback that I see, the, for a thousand dollars, the kit only comes with, the highest grit it comes with is a thousand grit. So I don't know how sharp that's gonna get us, a thousand grit. My regular sharpening stones that you've seen in other videos go up to 8,000 grit. So you'd think that for a thousand dollars you'd get more than a thousand grit. We'll see. Well, I'm gonna run this thing through the whole process and then uh, we'll see how sharp it is. So for those of you that uh, like know how these knife sharpeners work, there is a process to find the angle that you're supposed to sharpen at where you color the blade with a sharpie and then you kind of slowly adjust the angle and you take more and more off until you, you know, you can see it's taken all the sharpie off and you find your ideal angle to sharpen at. I saved you all of the uh, pain and suffering of watching me do that because it takes a while. And I found out that the angle that, uh, that this knife was sharpened at is 15 degrees. So that's what we're gonna resharpen it at. I'm gonna be starting off with 100 grit and we're gonna go, you know, all the way up to 1,000. So it's gonna look, that whole process is gonna look something like this. Just one on this side. And you can see how much how much more efficient this is than the uh, just pulling it through the the one sharpener. And I'm not very fast, but I imagine that there's people that use this thing that can probably just go. I mean, just like lightning, just like this, just lightning fast, and probably get a, an amazing edge. But we're gonna go slow and steady. Wow, that's only been what, not even probably a whole minute? And that already feels really sharp. I think I might end up being a little bit more surprised than I thought. For only 100 grit, this thing's already feeling pretty sharp. So we're switching on to 200. For only 200 grit, this is gonna be nasty. All right, now we're moving on to the final stones, the 800 grit. You can tell after I've kind of done it for a while, I can kind of, <laughs> kind of get into a groove pretty easy. Moving on to the last thousand grit. All right, I think I'm gonna call that done. I feel like that is uh, extremely sharp. Let's get that out of our little vise here. That feels, that feels razor sharp. Let's do a little paper test here. See where we're at. Not a good sign. Okay, I mean, that was a good one. That is not nearly as sharp as it feels. Well, that's disappointing. All right, so it's time to get these things on the sharpness tester. Let's see what our results are. We're starting with the $4 knife sharpener. Okay, 555 in, an, in the category of an edge that needs some maintenance. 500, you know, it's, it's stock was 230, 230 to 555 with a $4 knife sharpener. I mean, I think that's pretty good actually <laughs> for a $4 knife sharpener. What more could you ask for? So now for our knife that we sharpened on our $1,000 knife sharpener. Oh no, oh no. Seven hundred and eighty. Yikes. Five fifty-five. Seven hundred and eighty. Four dollars. A thousand dollars. Ooh. All right. Where do we go from here? <laughs> I think I need to investigate this. I think I'm gonna put this back on the sharpener, and maybe try maybe try a different angle. Maybe try to like refine the angle. There has to be in this. This has to be user error. There's no way that a thousand dollar knife sharpener is, is this bad. Like this just has to be user error. Find out what I did wrong and then, then we'll come back. So I think I have found the problem. So with this knife sharpener, the way these jaws are designed, like I said, you have this lever and this locks the jaws and this locks the knife into the jaws of the sharpener. So you have this little piece, which is like a guide that you can either slide into these holes or these holes up here. And what you're supposed to do is put this in here and then put the knife in here and then 
the, whenever the spine of the blade is level on this guide, then you can use this and then you can lock it down and you can lock the blade in place. I guess the way this blade is designed, even though it's locked in here, it still moves back and forth. So I think that whenever I had my stones on here and I'm you know, sharpening back and forth, each time I would push it, I think I would push the blade a little, just a little bit this way, and then just a little bit this way, and then, you know, back and forth. So I wasn't actually sharpening at the correct angle. I was just kind of like, you know, just like rolling over the edge each time, just back and forth. So that's why it got like kind of sharp, but not really sharp. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about it. I think I might try to just drop it all the way down in here and just forget that about that guard completely. Because if I do that and lock it down in here, it seems it still moves a little bit, like a, a little bit, but it seems to be way more secure. So I think I'm gonna just leave it like this, dropped all the way down in there, and then I'll run it through all the stones again, or I'll find my angle again, run it through all the stones, and then uh, and then we'll see how sharp it gets. So I just finished up with a thousand grit stones, and I do think that was our problem. I mean, it feels dangerously sharp. So let's retry that paper test. There we go. That, that's what I would expect from a thousand dollar knife sharpener. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay, now let's put it on the scale and let's see, let's see what it does. Is it gonna be sharper than a four dollar knife sharpener? Four hundred and thirty grams. You you can't make this stuff up. You really cannot make this stuff up. A thousand dollar knife sharpener. A four dollar knife sharpener was able to produce a blade that was like uh, five fifty five, I believe. Thousand dollar knife sharpener was only able to produce a blade that was four hundred and thirty grams. Barely sharper than the four dollar knife sharpener. Whatever. A thousand times the price, or or whatever it would be. That's absurd. That is absolutely ridiculous. And this is this is kind of what I was afraid of because, like I said in the beginning, this only goes up to a thousand grit. And it, I think the difference is the ceramic blades or the ceramic uh, rods. Because I couldn't find a, like a definitive answer online, but from what I found, it seems like ceramic rods are like compared or uh, somewhere around like two to 4,000 grit. And of course these are just a thousand. So I would say that's what makes the, the biggest difference. I can't believe I spent a thousand dollars on a knife sharpener. And that's, that is the result that I got. And that's with two sharpenings. So that's like technically, not technically, but kind of like cheating a little bit because it got sharpened twice. So you think it'd be even sharper. All right, final thoughts. So obviously, we have found out that this $1,000 knife sharpener is not worth $1,000, especially if you're just an average person who wants to sharpen maybe their kitchen knives or like a pocket knife every now and then. This is not the sharpener for you. This is absolutely not worth the money. And like I've said you know, many times throughout the video, these only go up to 1,000 grit. I just, uh, did, I just went to the uh, Wicked Edge website they make stones that go up to 3,000 grit, but to get the full set, or to finish off this set up to the 3,000 grit, you'd have to buy another $255 worth of stones. So to have this be like a full kit, it'd be $1,255 for a, a full knife sharpening kit. Obviously, unless you're like, like a business or something and you like sharpen like like hundreds and hundreds of knives like all the time I cannot recommend this it's just it's not worth it I would pick the four dollar knife sharpener it does almost as good and it's only four dollars so that's the end of that and somehow we've made it through an entire knife video without cutting any water bottles in half so let's fix that all right let's start off with the one that was sharpened with the four dollar knife sharpener too bad. That was a clean slice. Still has the bottom half full of water. I really wanted to get a really, really super clean slice. Let's see if we can't do that with the next, the one that was sharpened with the thousand dollar knife sharpener, since it is like, I don't know, 20% sharper. Mm. I 
think I must have hit that on a weird angle. Because I, I like cut the cap in half or something. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.